Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Sassy Sarah Reads. Summer is officially here. I have been wanting to film this for the last couple days. I moved back in over the weekend. It's like Wednesday. So I've had some time to move back in, try to clean up my room, make some space for the new stuff, make some space to get rid of old stuff. You know, your spring cleaning edition of moving back in from college after a, a year. So, you guys, I have accumulated a lot of books. It's a lot. Like, multiple videos worth of book hauls. Um, so, let's dive right in to discussing how I happen to get all these books. Um, so first, let's start with kind of, I guess, the fun stuff. So, I had to purchase this. Well, actually, let me talk about the boring stuff first. So, I'm an education major, and I had to make this purchase. And the best place for me to make this purchase was on Barnes & Noble, because it was the cheapest place to find this uh, edition, which is the 10th edition, I think, of Wong & Wong's The Classroom Management Book, which, by the way, is fantastic. So, if you are an educator... I recommend this. It's more like towards elementary school, but I still think you can get some stuff out of it. Um, so I had a Barnes & Noble gift card and I went crazy. Cause I haven't gotten books like more than like three or five dollars in a long time. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I got. Uh, I got An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is a YA fantasy story about fairies. It is a darker story. It takes place um, in a world where uh, this girl does paintings and she ends up painting a portrait of a fae with emotions, which is very dangerous. I'm excited for this. I think this is going to be fun. fun. And this cover is stunning. And I got it, like, uh, I think 50% off. So, I didn't pay a whole lot for it. Yes. And then I got The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison, which is an adult. I'm pretty sure this is sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, or, um, there, I'm pretty sure there is an apocalypse involved in this story. I've heard it's fantastic. It has won the Hugo Award in 2016. I got this for like $10, which is cheap for a fresh off the press adult paperback. I am excited for it. I think it's going to be a blast. I don't know too much about it. I kind of want to keep it that way. But I've heard such great things on BookTube about it and around the internet, mainly on BookTube, because this is like a hardcore representative of the SSF community. Um, so I'm excited. I think this will be a good one. And I got this, I think, like 50 or 30% off, which is super exciting because it's a hardcover. I purchased Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, which is the second book in the Strange the Dreamers duology. I have yet to read Strange the Dreamers because I wanted to, you know, binge read. So now that I own, look, look, look at it, it's beautiful. Now that I own both of them, hopefully I can get to them within this year. I have a tendency to let books collect dust, which is a problem. But, you know, working on that. I got more books, though. Um, I am in love with Barnes & Noble's paperbacks classics. They are my favorite thing. Um, so I got a couple more to add to my collection because they're $5 a piece. I got War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, which I'm super excited about. This edition is gorgeous brown. I don't know. I don't usually care for brown covers, but I just love how this looks. And then I purchased Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which is a gorgeous baby blue. Beautiful, stunning, striking. This book is a little bit thicker than I uh, thought it was. I think this may have the sequel in it as well. Let me check. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I th this may just only be the first book in the Little Women series, um, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be a fun time. I saw that there's going to be a movie with Emma Watson, uh, a new adaptation, 
So hopefully I can get to this one before then. Then the next book I got, because I want to delve in some Russian literature, is Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Probably not saying that right. Also, again, this brown is just striking. I'm really excited about this one. I've heard so much about Crime and Punishment, and I just think I'm really going to enjoy this one. It's um, a bulkier text, but I'm excited because I've heard so much about Russian literature. And I have a couple more. So, I have The Inferno by Dante, and it is gorgeous. Fantastic. I love this. It's also got horrifying artwork and illustrations on the front cover. I don't know. Oh, and there's illustrations as well inside, because, um, you know, we got to keep up the the art pieces of Dante. I've never read The Inferno. I'm excited to get to it. This is going to be fun. Then I purchased the essential poems and tells and poems of Edgar Allan Poe, obviously by Edgar Allan Poe. It is a collection of pretty much all of his work, which I'm excited about. I want to go through and read the ones that I haven't, so maybe I'll do that for Halloween this year. Um, and then I have The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And I love this yellow. And also, look at how gorgeous the illustrations are inside, you guys. They are beautiful and stunning. I'm so excited to read this one. I never got to read this. And when you look at all of these gorgeous covers together, they just look so nice. Like, I'm not going to hold all six up because they're thick ones. But beautiful, beautiful. Um, and they're $5 a piece. So, like... It's so awesome. So, I have a couple more fun books that I can talk about. This one's not really fun, but it's educational. It's an educational um, text called The Fundamental Five, Five, The Formula for Quality Instruction. I got this as a gift from my aunt, and I'm excited to kind of just pick through this. It's not long at all, so hopefully this summer I can get into that one. And then when I was... <laughs> In Texas, we went to TCU's bookstore, and their bookstore is really, like, cool. Like, it, it has, like, merchandise, and then on the top, it's an actual, like, cafe and bookstore. Um, so I purchased the third book in the Dark Tower series, The Wastelands, by Stephen King. I'm excited for this one. It's gorgeous. I love these editions so much. They are some of my favorite beauties. Um, and this is where I'm at currently, and it was fate, because I had finished the drawing of the three, and I was like, well, now that I'm done, I can't continue, because I don't have the next book, and I just so happened to stumble upon it at this bookstore, and it was the only, like, wait, Dark Tower book they had, and so I was like, it's God telling me that I have to have it, so I bought it, and I don't regret it, because I'm going to have a lot of fun, and then I have, um, some fun books that I got from my mom. She got rid of all her romances, all of them. Massive Purge. I think we got rid of around 300 to 400 books. Um, and she let me keep her Lisa Kleypas books because I love Lisa Kleypas. I have, again, The Magic and Brown Eyed Girl. Will I read these? I hope so because otherwise they're just going to collect dust. I'm particularly excited about this one because it's a prequel to The Wallflowers, which I have not read, but I've heard it's a fantastic historical series. And then I, trying not to show you my dress because I'm opening up a package. Yeah, package. So I want a giveaway of a Lisa Slates book. It is her newest book called Devil's Daughter. Um, it's beautiful yellow. I'm excited for it. It's been a while since I've read a historical by Lisa Kleypas, but I do have hopes that I'll enjoy it. So, yeah, um, these are, these are all the books that I've read. Not read. Purchased. I'm not gonna, like, lift all that. I'm weak. So, let me know down below in the comments if you've read any of these books. Which books should I prioritize reading? Let me know. It's just, it's kind of fun to show you these things. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye, and happy reading!